What is up guys, my name is Stranger Danger. Today I'm coming to you with a new video out of the ocean and I wanna to talk to you about something crazy going on with YouTube. So on February 1st of this year, 2023, uh, YouTube rolled out their new revenue share program with creators like me who primarily make YouTube shorts. Now, this was a really, really big change and I was a little nervous, a little excited, wondering if I'm gonna make a lot more, a lot less. So I've got a little bit of data. I had one video go really viral. Um, and so I wanted to share with you guys what kind of money I'm making and then also go back and compare it to a video that I made before and I was getting paid by YouTube partner program. So, um, or sorry, not by partner program, but by the shorts fund. So I won't know exactly how much I made from a single video to the shorts fund because it would just be like at the end of the month, they just send me a notification that's like, hey, you made this much money. And I'd be like, wow, that's great. But then with the ad revenue program for YouTube shorts, it's like you know exactly how much you make from each short, so it's really cool to share it. So without looking at the data, I have a feeling that it's almost exactly the same amount as what I was making before anyways, but then maybe it'll work out better later when more advertisers are going on to shorts because it's insane how many people watch shorts, especially compared to long form videos. And I feel like the content is so much more engaging because it's shorter. So I feel like eventually advertisers are gonna want to go towards shorts. It's just such a new form of content that not as many advertisers are like, oh yeah, this is a great way for us to advertise our brand, our product, whatever. And so I haven't even had that many ad campaigns for shorts and it's like, dude, I had a video get 250 million views. Like why would you not wanna advertise with me when I get in insane views on my shorts, but I don't know, it's, it's, it's hard to convince a company about a new form of media that they should be advertising there. So just in case you clicked on this video, like having no idea about shorts, about the revenue share, that kind of thing, I just wanna go over some of the super basics that YouTube came out with about what the revenue share program means. So like I said, started on February 1st, and then to get in, and, and this is the same with like YouTube partner program, initial or like before, I thought it was 2,000 subs that you had to have, but now it's 1,000 subs, 4,000 of valid watch hours. You have to get a good amount of watch time on your long form videos, or now you can get 10 million, 10 million views on YouTube Shorts. So it probably seems really daunting to get 10 million views on YouTube Shorts, but when you finally see the CPM for Shorts, which is the cost per meal, the amount that the advertisers pay for your videos to have advertisements on them, you're gonna see the 10 million is like very small. So you actually need a ton of views to actually be making decent money with YouTube Shorts. So another really interesting thing that YouTube just came out with is the creator music program. And I looked at it quickly and I was sort of like, why would anyone ever do this? So if you guys want me to do another video about the creator music program, let me know. Um, I don't want to get too into it now, but then like one thing that's kind of weird about shorts and like earning on shorts is that you can't use sounds most of the time it seems like. So obviously shorts is like the competitor product to TikTok and the short videos on TikTok, Instagram reels, that kind of thing. It's interesting that they are trying to do something with sounds, but then you can't use sounds that are like a trend on TikTok, which is really, really difficult because I've had some videos that like either I really liked or that I thought would do well on YouTube because they did well on TikTok, but then it used a sound from a TikTok trend and then it has a copyrighted sound on it, like a, a copyrighted music, whatever. And then you bring it over to shorts and then immediately it's like, you can't earn any money on this video and it's probably not gonna show it to as many people because it has that copyrighted sound on it. So that's something that's really difficult um, and I kind of find annoying because it's like, when it's short form, it's like the sound is like a meme, like, and then I also feel like I'm like promoting the song when it's on my videos, not that my videos are good because of the song, but that, that's like more like what I want, would want to talk about in like the creator music video. So let me know in the comments if you want me to make a video about creator music and let's stick on the topic of the shorts fund right now. So finally, let's go over and look at how much I was making from the YouTube creator fund, shorts fund, whatever it was, the entire last year because my first good video, like I posted it December, 2021. It popped off January, 2022. Um, that obviously is my egg video where I crack an egg underwater, 260 million views or something like that as of right now. 
and it has earned a total of like $100, which is insane that the ad revenue on it only earned it $100, but it earned a crazy amount on the YouTube shorts fund. So at first the limit on shorts fund was 10K and I hit like 9.3 or something the first month. And then I was like, if I'm like at the upper limit right now and that's why they're throttling me, then I would probably make so much more because there was a while where I was getting 26 million views per day on that video. All right, so before I spill the beans on like literally the next thing I'm about to show you is how much I made in the last year and I don't feel like censoring and all that just to show you specific information, so whatever. But before I show you how much I made and all that, make sure to go down, smash subscribe, and then like this video if you wanna see more videos like this. Um, if you don't know me, more normally I make videos about free diving and picking up trash in the ocean. So this is your first time coming and checking out my videos. Uh, go check out some more where I'm actually in the ocean, not just talking about how much money I made by picking up trash in the ocean, which is so cool that I make money like that. Um, anyways, let's see exactly how much I made and then compare it with the views and then we're gonna compare it to uh, the YouTube shorts, ad, share, whatever. Uh, there's too many words for me to remember exactly how to say everything right, but anyways, let's get into it. So um, yeah, last year made, the, so this is uh, 365 days, so from today until exactly one year ago, 178K, absolutely insane. Thank you guys if you're a returning viewer. Thank you for watching my videos, supporting my channel, very epic. Um, but yeah, so uh, here's like a top earning. Uh, so you can see all these spikes. This is when the shorts fund money would come in. So top earning month is, uh, let's go with July. This was an outlier. This was like a, a campaign that I did with YouTube uh, where they gave me extra. And so that wasn't exactly what I earned from shorts fund, but this is like a really high earning month earned from shorts fund. And then basically this number, uh, cause I checked with the email that I got from um, that day it's like this number plus like whatever I was making daily we'll say daily average I was making like 200 so then for this day I made 13,900 or for that month so month of July was 13,900 of uh, of revenue and so I just want to make sure we get all that correct because we're going to go look at um, how many views that I got in July uh, attributed to shorts and then it should be uh, conclusive data. So now we're gonna go custom, 1, 22, 7, 31, 22. Okay, so that's the month of July. So now we need to go to overview, and then we got 330 million views. That is insane. That is a lot, a lot of views. And only 3.3 .3 million views, or a million watch hours, so I think that a lot of uh, these views, and we can see here, it's all short videos. So very obviously all attributed to short videos. Just insane month, 51 million views one month. Unbelievable, I love it. Yeah, this is right now, so this is not what we wanna look at, but this over here is what we wanna look at. So we got 330 million views, and we earned just from the shorts fund, 13.9 thousand. So let's pull up a calculator real quick and then we're gonna see exactly how much that is. Okay, so what, what I'm doing, and I'd rather write this out so I could get the units and everything, but just go with me here. So um, $13,900 and then divided by uh, 330,000 times 1,000 views, right? Because it was 330 million. So then we divide that by 1,000 to get per meal. So this is the cost per meal of uh, videos. Or okay, and so we come out to 0 0.04. So that means that it was earning four cents per thousand views, which if you guys have ever watched one of these YouTube uh, revenue videos, whatever, the normal CPM that you get from like a regular long form video is like a hundred times that. And that's like kind of on the low end of CPM. So if you have like more like risque, like edgy content, you might get like one to two dollar CPM. And then if you have like real estate finance, like really high earning videos, um, those can be like even 10 or 20 dollars per uh, thousand views and then this is four cents per view so that egg video was not earning a lot of money i got it and then uh now there's an egg shortage hello was that because of me and my egg video like can the egg farmers thank me for pumping eggs so much so it's crazy to see that you're only getting four cents per 
thousand views and I get it that it's a shorter video but it's like just an insane difference compared to long form videos so if you if you knew a creator that was getting 330 million views per month like maybe Mr. Beast PewDiePie someone like that then they are making crazy money because then that would be so if the CPM was was just let's say conservative $3 times 330 uh 1 2 3 4 5 6 views so uh, oh no, that's not correct. One, two, three. Okay, so that's the right amount. And so this would be the earnings if they were long form video views on $3 CPM, I would have made almost a million dollars from one month. That is insane. So looking at that, you know why PewDiePie and Mr. Beast can afford to make such amazing videos um, or have such a lavish life because they are making bank off of these videos. Okay, so now let's go and finally look at what I'm earning with the new shorts uh, ad revenue share and see how it compares to what I was making before with the YouTube shorts fund. Okay, so this is my recent, like not like super giga viral, but like pretty viral video, you know, 26 million views very happy with that sorry 29 million views um, very happy with that um, and then it actually earned one thousand one hundred dollars and that's not including today's views which was six million views because it has uh, almost 12 million in the last 48. So revenue is always shown a day later, I think just so that they can verify everything. And then by the way, if you're a shorts creator and you're wondering what is like the way to see if your video is doing well, if you're hitting this amount on shorts feed and if your percentage uh, view duration is around here, boom, it's gonna go crazy. So that's what you really wanna aim for is uh, long duration and big support from the shorts feed and your video is just gonna go. Um, so so yeah, we have 29 million views and 1100 uh, estimated revenue. And well, we'll go over here to revenue and then we can see the, so here's the monetized views is actually only 19 million. So it's actually two days late. Um, on how many on how much it's paying so that's good because then I have uh, even if it stopped getting views right now I still have another like five hundred dollars to be made so it actually has six cents rpm which is one and a half times what I thought I was getting from the egg video so that's pretty good and so if this video did like the egg video got ten times as many views I'd make eleven thousand dollars on it not bad I'd be really happy with that by the way if you watch this video it's about how I'm having trouble with community guidelines stuff like that I'm actually having less trouble now than when I made this video so that's really cool and so hopefully I can keep on being successful on YouTube this year and do well with it not have trouble with community guidelines violations I know they were changing all these things a lot of people are having a hard time like when they swear early in their video or if they have like violent stuff like that so thankfully I'm not making any content like that but I do have other stuff that makes my content not necessarily super advertiser friendly but anyways yeah this is uh, the revenue that I made on a successful video and really if, if you're trying to be a shorts creator you got to pump out a lot of content but it's got to be good content you can't just go make a bunch of crap you can't re-upload a bunch of other people's videos you got to make your own original great content and eventually it'll do like this and you'll get 29 million views on a video that promotes an exclusive content site where you made even more money from that video so i'm not going to get into all that but i definitely made a lot more than 1100 on this video very good. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm not trying to be braggy, just trying to share information so that other people who are thinking of being a YouTube shorts creator or are wondering like, how does my video stack up? Like, is this going to be worth it for me to keep going? Uh, just want to get the information out there because I feel like we as creators have to share this information with each other. Um, so then we can all do better together because there's plenty of light under the sun for all of us to succeed. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and I hope you like this video. Smash like if you did, smash subscribe, check out my diving videos, check out the vlog channel, Shandra and Brittany. And that's all the stuff we saw, bye. The other day, Brittany and I found a beach with water so clear that it looked like we weren't even underwater. And there's something that's just so magical about the sand here. And there's even these little barreling waves. Over the last year, I've realized that I wanna dedicate my life to cleaning the ocean, one piece at a time, like this soda can lid. But for the last 10 months, I've felt so betrayed by a community that I thought I was a part of. All I wanna do with my platform is help clean the ocean. And I feel like I'm being told that I'm not allowed to do that. What's so wrong with me that I'm not welcome here? Well, I've had enough. If you want to see where I'll be posting most of my content from now on, go to the link in my bio.